Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're going to live in. It's the American Dream. Welcome to Selling St. Augustine. I'm your host, Shelby Hodges. This is where we cover the three R's, real events, real people, and real estate. Being from St. Augustine, it's my passion to make my hometown your hometown. From sandy beaches to spectacular homes, delicious seafood, and so much more, we'll cover it all. Today, we'll start one of my personal favorites, the Sunset Grill. Let's go check it out. So we're here at one of my personal favorites, the Sunset Grill. What started as a small local find over 33 years ago has now quadrupled in size. One block from the ocean, delicious foods, and so much more. Today, we'll be interviewing Tony, the local restaurant manager, and we're also gonna try a few different dishes. Let's go check it out. So we're here at the Sunset Grill with Tony Grandinetti, who is the restaurant manager. Tony, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely, Shelby. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Great. So can you tell us a little bit about the Sunset Grill and how you guys did such a great job at not only surviving, but thriving over the years? Sure, absolutely. It's not a little to tell. There's a lot to tell, but only a short time to do it. And so we've been here for 33 years. Mike and Pete have shared the same vision and the same passion over those years to help create a, a great dining experience for a lot of our guests. Also making sure that uh, the consistency of the food stays great. We've got a great location, you know, uh, a little bit south of the St. Augustine Beach Pier. So we've been uh, known for not only our food, but our excellent service, our friendly staff. Uh, people come here because they have good memories. Uh, the consistency is good. So, you know, part of the excitement is the local people that come here, a lot of tourists come here. So it's an eclectic mix of both and uh, we're happy to be a part of it. These look delicious, Tony. So what do we have here? So just a few of our favorites, some signature items. We'll start with uh, this. It's uh, 28 years in the making. It's Rice crispy battered French toast, fresh fried shrimp. We've got pickled vegetables, cabbage, pickled uh, cucumbers. Uh, we got a spicy daddle honey, which we can just pour right over the top of this, which is fabulous. Uh, second, we've got a uh, triple D wings, uh, deeply fried, coated with our signature daddle hot sauce. Uh, sprinkled with some uh, dry rub, which is a little bit smoky, a little bit sweet. Gives it an extra crispy, kind of a sweet tang. This is our piece de resistance here. This is our New England clam chowder. Uh, we rode the chowder wave for a very long time. We won awards for that for 28 years in a row. Uh, and this is something that we take pride in. Tony told us that you guys have won 54 chowder competitions. Oh, see, they know better than I do in that sense, so yeah. And then I will say this is actually my husband's favorite dish. So if you guys are looking, they have mild, medium, or hot with the daddle sauce. And man, the wings, you cannot beat them. Well, thank you so much. You're Tony. welcome. It's a pleasure having you. Let's eat. Stop number two, the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Built in 1874 by the Lighthouse Association. Not only is it enriching with information, but it has some of the best views in town. Let's go check them out. So we are here with Priscilla, who is a volunteer at the St. Augustine Lighthouse. What are some fun things you can tell us about? Been here, obviously, they began building it in 1871. It served during, during World War II as a lookout for the Coast Guard. It was not operating a light then, because obviously wanted to keep the coastline dark at night because we had lots of U-boats off of the coast here. The oil, which the oil room is in there, they carried a bucket every two and a half hours from dusk to dawn, had to be carried up the lighthouse. And a lot of people ask, well, why didn't they rig up a pulley system and the reason being is they tried that but if you saw the well in the center of the lighthouse that was part of a weight and pulley system that's how the lens was turned wow. and that also had to be redone every two and a half hours and uh, because that was in the center there was no place to do the bucket yeah they tried all they did was spill oil oh, wow so every two and a half hours from dusk to dawn they had to climb and fill it fill the light with oil and clean the lens off because obviously lard oil, which is what it was, is very dirty burning. Thank you so much for your time. You're we appreciate welcome. it. 
So that wraps up for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Shelby Hodges. This is Selling St. Augustine. Stay tuned for the next episode. All right, let's go to Andrea's house over in Coastal Oaks. Can't wait for you to join us on our next episode of Selling Jacksonville on The American Dream TV. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.
everyone, my name is Caroline Castillo, your host of American Dream TV. Today we're located in a beautiful community called Nocatee, located in Ponte Vedra, Florida. Florida remains a number one retirement destination. Some even joke it's heaven's waiting room. Today we're gonna meet with a good friend of mine, Jan Richardson, with the Marks J Law Firm located in Jacksonville, and she's gonna tell you how to secure your piece of this paradise. Let's go meet her. Jan, I'm so excited that you're here today. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Thank you for inviting me to be on the show with you today, Carolyn. I'm excited to be here. So many people are moving into Florida. It still remains a number one destination for people to come and retire. There's even jokes that it's heaven's waiting room. Oh, an important thing that people don't actually think about is how do they secure their real estate and their assets when they do actually pass on? Um, you know, an inheritance is so important to pass down to your kids and to your family members. Um, how do Floridian actually protect their piece of paradise here? Well, Carolyn, I think there's no better way to secure your family's future than with an estate plan that protects your family when you die or if you should lose capacity. So what does um, a trust actually give the power of the family to do when the time comes that you do pass on here in Florida? A trust allows you to control your assets while you're alive, maintain that control, and then when you die, the trust distributes your assets to your beneficiaries based on the instructions that you leave in the trust. Wow, that's that's very, very, very informative. Thank you so much, Jan, for coming in and showing us how we can secure our piece of paradise here in Florida. Thank you for inviting me to be on the show. Now that we learned how to secure your piece of paradise, let me show you a really nice piece of paradise that you should consider buying into. This neighborhood is called Nakati. This building that we're standing in right now is a co-working office space located right inside of the community. What you're gonna notice is we're in a neighborhood full of Publix, Starbucks, and everything that you can imagine and you could even need. The funny thing is there's a joke among people that live here that we live in a bubble because honestly, you don't have to leave. Nakati offers everything that a person would need to leave inside of a community. What I love about Nakati is all the beautiful golf cart trails. As you can see, my golf cart is decorated in Halloween because we just finished a humongous Halloween celebration here at Nakati. Nakati is one of the best places to live if you want to raise a family. That's why me and my family decided to move here. The number one reason was because of the school district. St. John's County was rated the number one school district in the state of Florida. They just built a brand new school. And my favorite part is I get to take my daughter on to school in the morning in a golf cart. I mean, is this even real? You are gonna absolutely love this community. And I'm about to show you a chance that you can get a brand new house in this community right now. Let's go take a look. This is why me and my family made a decision to actually move to Nocatee because of the amazing school district that is located right within the community. Now this is your chance that you can actually get a brand new construction property right across the street from the school. This Nocatee community is such an incredible place to live. You can truly live, work and play right here. So I'm so happy that you joined me today on the American Dream TV episode, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Jacksonville is located here in Northeast Florida. We are on the Florida Georgia line and we are known as a military town and so much more. Hi, I'm Tracy Williams and I'm the host of American Dream TV Jacksonville. I grew up in Jacksonville and call it home. I wanted to share with you today here in the Springfield District, one of our local veteran businesses. Let's check it out. 
Hi. Jason. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? So good to see you. Good to see you again. You as well. Yes. Thank you for letting my team and I meet up here at the coffee shop. We just love coming and visiting you. We so love the support and uh, what you guys do for the community. Oh. So I'd love to show you around. Absolutely. You wanna go? Yes, I want to hear all about your story. Let's go. Thank you for your service in the Marines. I wanted you to share a little bit about that. I was with 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines uh, out of Camp Lejeune. Many, many great men I've served with and still keep in contact with, and it's a brotherhood for us. Tell us how you started uh, Social Grounds and why you came back to Jacksonville. I came back to Jacksonville. This is where I'm from. I've lived here my whole life, had a lot of survivor's remorse, so I struggled myself uh, transitioning back and uh, drugs, alcohol, um, and I uh, was homeless for a year and a half and really didn't know if I was going to make it. Suicide attempts, uh, PTSD, very difficult uh, to, to a challenge to get through and I'm grateful to be here today. I started to want to give back to the homeless and less fortunate of our city using coffee. Um, and more importantly, I wanted to uh, empower and employ transitioning veterans through specialty coffee. We started in 2015 with a dream, opened our cafe in 2017, and since then we've hired eight veterans. And then the White House heard about the work we've been doing here and Second Lady Karen Pence and her staff came down and, uh, and awarded us for the work we're doing with veterans here. Thank you so much. Anybody who knows me knows that I love coffee. Yes. And I love supporting our veteran community. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Joe. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Thanks for coming with us today. Happy to be here. Yes. So Joe is actually one of our preferred lenders and my friend. And we are going to be sharing with you the Florida lifestyle from a different point of view. Here we are in beautiful downtown Jacksonville along the riverfront. And Joe, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a mortgage broker. I'm with Future Home Loans. I have the two Navy Vets team. We started about five years ago here in Neptune Beach, Florida, right down at the beaches from Jacksonville because we're veterans and we are designed to give the best deal, best service and best rates to local veterans. Well, we're heading to our next location and Joe's our team preferred lender. So we're gonna see if I can beat you to the boat. Oh no. <laughs> So Chris, thank you so much for letting us come out today and explore the lifestyle and culture of the St. John's River from your boat. We rent out pontoons to go up and down the St. John's River, you know, give tours of what, what Jacksonville has to offer being such a big river and a deep river. Right. You know, there's a lot of history here, you know, formerly called Calford, now it's Jacksonville. Or as we like to say, Duval. Duval. You are in the service, yes. at, or what? we're in the service, and we thank you for the, your service. Yeah, it was my pleasure being in the Marine Corps from 93 to 97, did a four year tour, had a wonderful time. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a blessing. I'll do it all over again. So what is your favorite part of owning this business? Uh -oh. Uh, meeting so many people. I mean, we meet worldwide people from even places such as Iran mm. or Iraq or wow. Japan, China. Meeting people is part of my highlight because yeah. you, you, you make a connection there. Thank you for coming along with us today as we got to showcase some of Jacksonville and what it has to offer. We are a military town, but we are so much more. Thanks to our veterans and our veteran owned businesses that we got to highlight. So from country living to city living to beach living, we have so many things to explore. So I'm Tracy Williams with American Dream TV and I will see you next time. Hi, I'm Angie. And I'm Rob. And we're your host of the American Dream. Today we're going to take you on a little adventure through the community and we're going to show you some of the amazing amenities here at the Amenity Center. We're going to go and visit our old neighbors and then we're going to wrap it up with a surprise visit to our favorite local eatery. So welcome to Nocatee. believe we've been here in Nocatee for 10 years now like I remember when we first wanted to move here from up north 
this lazy river, I couldn't get it out of my head. Like, I had to live in Nocatee. It was just not gonna go any other way. Yeah, you know, up north, you don't have things like this, but come down here, this is truly like the American dream. And what do families like to do? They like to go on vacation. <laughs> we live on vacation. Nocatee is equipped with everything. So whatever the lifestyle is that you're looking for, young, old, it is all here and you never have to leave. And you know, speaking of old, there's some old friends I'd like to check up on. What do you say that we hit in the cart and go take a ride and pay a visit to them? They're going to be so surprised. Wow, I forgot how beautiful it is out here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we still get the squirrels that visit every morning and the woodpeckers and then in the evening we've got our owls. Come on, let's oh go my. sit down. Oh my gosh, I saw that game room. How much fun. I bet you all of the kids in the entire neighborhood, maybe all of Nocatee, probably pile in that room. Yes. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. That's one of the things that I love the most about this house is the fact that it, it really gives you that indoor, outdoor family life, family living. Um, and when we have parties, we've got an entire separate uh, living room for the kids. And then this side of the house is all for the adults. So it gives a little bit for everybody and we can all enjoy the parties. That, and you know about the parties. So we were looking for a community that had lots of amenities and social activities, not only for the kids, but for us as adults. And Nakati has all that together. We have a sprawling amenity center that keeps getting bigger and bigger with new things to yeah. do, and the social activities just never stop. Whether you're a young child or you're turning 55, we have everything that you need for any um, age in your life. Yeah, that's, that's really important for us. Thank you for letting us uh, surprise you and drop in on you. Nico, it's good to see you again. Me too. That was so much fun. How about we go now and surprise Allie up at work and uh, see what she's up to. That's a great idea, honey. <laughs> oh, fun. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know. Alicia! Oh my God. Gosh. Hi, Hello. baby. Are you here for happy hour again? <laughs> of course. So that us stands this Everything's so family-like and so close. And exactly. South Kitchen has been a part of it. Yes. I mean, they've been here uh, pretty much like a year or two after we were here. They moved in, and I mean, yeah, I remember hosting here when I was 15, working <laughs> here, and then taking a little break and coming back to serve and making great money. It's been really nice here in Oxy and at South Kitchen. Get away, get away from the drinks and chatter. Hi, James. Well, thank you for having us today and giving us a little bit of your time. Sure, sure. What makes South Kitchen so special? Uh, easy job for me, I have an excellent staff. We have an excellent group of customers that come in that quickly become our yeah. favorites and regulars. And it doesn't hurt to have fresh, delicious food as well. So it works out really well. Works out really well. Oh, well, wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, my I pleasure. appreciate Thanks, it. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Jacksonville, Florida has so much to offer. Every day, we're seeing people move here from all across the country. Today, we're here in a brand new community, Summer Glen by Adams Homes. Welcome to the American Dream Selling Jacksonville. I'm your host, Stacy Young. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Summer Glen by Adams Homes. Come on in. Thank you. What a beautiful home. Thank you. Thank you. It's great seeing you, Stephanie. You too, Stacy. Hey! 
I'm just so excited to chat with you today so that we can both share what it is that we both love about this side of town. We both live on this side of town. Um, so we both know what makes it special. Like for me, for example, I love the horses across the street. Not very many people get to live so close to horses. Another thing I love about this area is we're 15 minutes away from the airport, Stacy. I know, I love that too, because I personally have family that lives out of town. So whenever they come in town for the holidays, having such a short commute to take them to the airport and pick them up and get to spend more time with them, that's just a priceless gift to have. And on top of that, what I really love is River City Marketplace. Now that's my favorite. It has over a hundred shopping areas and dining areas in that mm -hmm. marketplace. Mm -hmm. I know, and what do we love to do? We love to shop, we love to eat. That's my favorite. <laughs> Glen really sounds like a fantastic place to call home. What is it about Adams Homes that sets them apart from other builders? Adams Homes has a long-standing reputation for quality, value, and customer service. We really take pride in crafting our homes, that they are not only beautiful, but they are built to last. This is our luxurious kitchen area. Great breakfast nook. This is our formal great room. Where you can make memories with your family in this great room. The tall ceilings will give it an extra open feel and her extra space added in this room. This is our primary suite. It holds a king size bed and two end tables with lots of room to still stand here. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed getting a little peek into what life in Northwest Florida has to offer. Tune in next time as we continue to explore all that life in Northeast Florida has to offer. Until then, be blessed. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, produced from America's finest city, but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media at the American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American dream.